how to source products from AliExpress to CJ Dropshipping. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can source any product from AliExpress to CJ Dropshipping. It is very easy and very simple. Follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to go to cjdropshipping.com. Sign in within that platform and get your account. The second thing is to make sure that you are going to set a store or a sale channel. This is very vital in this uh, drop shipping and also sourcing. So when you get something from AliExpress, you are going to make sure that you have the right store and also the right funnel or sales channel to sell it. So simply when you go to your Shopify or your CJ dropshipping account, you can go ahead right there, scroll down a little bit and we can see here a menu item named authorization. We have Shopify, TikTok shop, ShipStation, AliExpress and more. Go ahead and select any of these sales channels. For example, we have eBay, also we have Shopify. I am going to use my Shopify account. And from there, you are going to set up my Shopify account from the store code and etc. In this case, my Shopify is set up. We have the code of my Shopify store and the authorization is activated. So whenever I get a product, I can go ahead and list it directly to my store. Now let's go back to business and click on find products. From here, we have the marketplace of CJ dropshipping. If you want to see the AliExpress or import any of the AliExpress products, you have two methods. Either you go ahead and click on source more. And here we have multiple option. We have the 1688, which is Alibaba, Taobao, and AliExpress, and also, and not finally, eBay. Click on go to AliExpress, and then it will take you directly to the AliExpress platform. You don't need an account within AliExpress, but you can go ahead and create it just for reference and saving the products. Now, from this one, we have the platform. If you want to get a product, you can simply go ahead and click on any of these products. Then let's say that we are going to get a, maybe this one. This is a phone case. Let's go and choose that phone case like this. I don't need the choice uh, products. And here we have the phone case. As you can see, it is a fully transparent. This is a, the, um, the item. Now you can go ahead and see the price and also you can go ahead and read carefully the description. In my case or in your case, you are simply going to click on the URL right there. You are going to get a link, copy that link and go back to CJ drop shipping. And from here, you are going to set and see right there search winning products by keywords SKQ and here we have some URLs go ahead and so on the search bar paste that URL that you have get or you got from Aliexpress simply click on search and from this one it will show you the products that are available within that link from Aliexpress to CJ dropshipping Remember, CJ Dropshipping, as the name says, is a dropshipping platform. So the sourcing will come from AliExpress and the Chinese providers. So we have here the case. Click on it and you are going to see the details. We have the title and also we have the dropshipping option. It is the same case and it has the same photos can see here the different colors and the different uh, models. Here we have the only difference right there is the price. It is set on AliExpress on 
0 0.99 and here on the CJ drop shipping it is 1.65 maybe this is a margin for the platform I don't know but uh, the most essential idea right there that we have the product and we are going to drop ship it and the here in this CJ drop shipping we have a very cool feature I will let you see this feature and this is for the fulfillment the fulfillment if you add a Shopify store as I have added it will be automatic whenever you receive a product or a um, item order from this one that we have set from CJ dropshipping the, C the CJ fulfillment will be automatically now how you can add this product we got it from Aliexpress we got that link and everything so simply click on first add to my products to not loop that product and don't uh, lose it and the second step is to click on list click on list now make sure the store selection is set to your Shopify store we have the Shopify sign and here we have the product type it is not a bag but it is a let's say phone case here we have the title you can put here the uh, title I'm going to modify the title right there to something more attracting best looking for example iPhone case ever like that and here we have it here we have the collections that are linked to our store you can set here the collection I'm going to put it to the bestseller collection you can add some tags I'm going to put iPhone like that phone 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 case maybe case like that and etc the vendor you can go ahead and set my store or Aliexpress it is up to you you can charge the taxes and here we have the variant pricing go ahead and change the price of that I'm going to put here the uh, price to $35.99 click on OK and here we have the margin and the shipping fees when you see that everything is set up you can click on a list now but before that we have to select the videos and images to show up in our store here we have them and finally the description make sure that everything is going well with the description when you finish it click on list it now it will take some few seconds to or a few minutes depends on the videos and images and also the variance of the product to be added to your store or to your sales channel now I highly recommend you to close that window and let it uh, go ahead and import the product if you want to see that product if it is imported or not simply go ahead right there and click on uh, products from there you are going to click on store products it, here it will show you the products that are uh, made and also published in your website or your store go ahead right there and from these lists you are going to see the products as for now the product is not listed yet so we are going to keep refreshing the page until we see the product I'm going to uh, view my Shopify store so we can get a clear idea about that product I'm going to let it right here and simply we are going to refresh the page again until we see the product right there after multiple uh, as you can see there refresh we have the product set it is added to our Shopify store and when you go to your Shopify store you can go ahead and click on products uh, go ahead and scroll down and as you can see best looking phone case ever or iPhone and here we have the product set within with also the colors and the applicable model and everything within the prices I'm going to see it live in my store here we have the same description as Aliexpress of course and everything is set how cool is that tell me 
that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one